As living rooms across the country are filled with wains eagerly reciting the Scots poems their teachers have sent home with them, many Scots will be reminded of their own memories of learning Scots poetry at school as youngsters. Scottish poetry has an extraordinary ability to connect us to our country's unique and rich history. When we come together to recite these Scots poems that tell the tale of our everyday history, we are immediately intertwined with the experiences of those from the past in a domestic and non-standardised language, which most of us still use today in one way or another. Scots poetry gives us a true sense of cultural identity in ways that we might not pay such close attention to in everyday life. In celebration of Burns Night on the 25th of January, Visit Scotland have decided to find out once and for all what Scotland's favourite Scots poems are, looking at the ones they learned in school. The National Tourism Organisation has surveyed over 1,000 Scots from up and down the country to uncover just that, and in true Burns Night fashion, Scotland has voted To a Mouse by Robert Burns as its favourite Scots poem of all. A poem about a little mouse whose nest has been accidentally ploughed by a farmer, which we might assume is Burns, which I'll recite for you now. We sleek it, coon timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic's in thy breastie. Thou needna start a was a hasty, we bicker and brattle. I would be late to run and chase thee, with mother and paddle. I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startle at me, thy poor earthborn companion and fellow mortal. I doubt no whiles, but thou may thieve, what then, poor beastie, thou mun live. A daemonicker in a thrave is a small requit. I'll get a blessing with a leave and never miss it. Thy wee bit hoosie too in ruin, the silly wars the winds are strewn, and nasen now to big a new un o' oh foggage green, and bleak December's winds ensuing, baith snell and keen. Thou saw the fields laid bare and waste and Weary winters coming fast, and coozy here beneath the blast thou thought to dwell, till crash the cruel coulter passed out through thy cell. That wee bit heap o' leaves and stubble has cost thee money a weary nibble. Now thou's turned out for all thy trouble, but house or hauled, to thaw the winter's sleety dribble and cranrach called. But Moosey, thou art no thy lane, in proving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes of mice and men gang after glay, and lee us not but grief and pain for promised joy. Still thou art blessed compared with me. The present only toucheth thee, but och, I backward cast my e on prospects drear, and forward, though I cannot see, I guess and fear. <laughs>